This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Alright! Make another save, and now we write another Natsuki poem. Yikis! Strawberry! Sugar! Mouse! Um... Email! <laughs> Pout! Melody! Socks! Anger! Fluffy! Milk! <laughs> Anime Hop Giggle Bubbles Skirt Vanilla <laughs> Fireworks Darn it Papa Doki Doki There, Sayori will like our poem a little bit. Maybe, possibly, hopefully, maybe, yes. Junk! Alright, hey Natsuki. It's not long before Natsuki comes up to me expectantly. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I kept my promise. I pulled the full first volume of Parfait Girls out from my bag. Natsuki takes it from my hands, then quickly turns it over, presumably to check for wrinkles. Hey, I'm not that careless. I handle manga all the time, you know. I just wanted to make sure... Can you blame me for being paranoid? I don't give people my manga every day, you know. Well, that's true. I don't blame you. Well, anyway, let me put this one back. I'm gonna go get the next one, okay? Natsuki makes her way to the closet. I follow. So you're gonna tell me everything that you fought, right? Where did this volume leave off Where did this volume leave off again? I forget. Oh, the chapter ended when Minori and Alice found- MONICA! Natsuki's voice resonates out from inside the closet. Eh? I peer inside. All of Natsuki's books are lined up on the top shelf. Did you move my manga again? Uh, sorry, sorry. The teacher got mad at me for taking up so much space in her closet. So I had to move some stuff around and clean up a little bit. It's all still there, I just had to organize it a bit. Ugh! The top shelf is far above Natsuki's head. She makes a futile hop trying to figure out how to reach her manga. Jeez! This is so inconvenient. I'm moving these all back down. There's plenty of room on these shelves. And besides, they're really pretty to look at when they're all lined up. Why would you waste that on the top shelf? Um, Natsuki. There's a stool on the wall there. In the closet, there's a collapsible stool that's hanging on the wall. If you want, I can reach up there and hand them to you. I can get them myself! Natsuki grabs the stool from the wall and unfolds it. You think I'm too short or something? So, look, sometimes you're too short for stuff. It's not nothing to be embarrassed about. It's, it's just a fact. I mean, I knew it! Well, you know what? Just watch me! Natsuki hops on the stool, which ends up being a little wobbly because of its collapsible design. Ah! Careful! I know what I'm doing! Standing on the stool, Natsuki's fingertips reach the top shelf. The stool would be enough for me to easily grab the books, but Natsuki's being stubborn, as usual. Ugh! Natsuki uses her fingers to scoot one of the smaller boxes off to the edge of the shelf. See? Cat! The box suddenly tips. <laughs> I forgot about that face of hers. Natsuki barely catches it before it falls to the floor. The stool wobbles. Da! Losing balance, Natsuki hops off the stool. Thankfully, she was able to stay on her feet. She holds the box triumphantly. Th there! Having almost fell, Natsuki is a bit shaken up. Jeez. No need to prove yourself to me. There's no way you'll be able to get the bigger boxes like that. I can reach them, so just... I said I can do it! I don't want your help, okay? <sighs> I'm gonna go get a chair, so just hang on. Natsuki forces her way past me out of the closet. Let's see... Let's see... The classroom chairs have the desks attached, so they're too inconvenient to fit into the closet. Aha! Natsuki trots over to the teacher's desk, which has a computer chair behind it. She rolls on it on its wheels back over to the closet. Uh... It's a little dangerous, since the chair swivels and rolls. But I've already learned my lesson, so I keep my mouth shut. Ish. Natsuki climbs onto the chair and then slowly bounces onto her feet. Since she refuses my help, I take a seat with my back against the side of the doorway and simply watch. Oh yeah, this is a weird CG. Aha! There we go! See, I can easily do it now. Natsuki take, grabs a stack of manga and bends down to put it back, uh, put it on the shelf below. W the chair swivels. Natsuki catches herself on the shelf. What are you doing? Can you at least hold the chair steady instead of sitting and doing nothing? 
Who was it who told me not to help? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hold the chair while Natsuki reaches back up. I can... I can almost see up her skirt! Ugh. I force myself to turn away. Natsuki seriously didn't think this through. Once she realizes, I'll be dead. Hup. Natsuki wraps her arms around the Parfait Girls box set, easily the largest one on the shelf. H heavy... Hey, Artie, I don't think I can bend down without falling. Hurry up and take this one. Eh? But then I have to let go of the chair. That's fine. Just for a second. Hurry up. All right. Just let me stand up. I slowly re release my grip from the chair. What do you mean, stand up? Natsuki looks down at me. Why are you all the way back? Eh? Natsuki looks like she just realized something, but she'll lose her balance if she moves. Natsuki, the box. Wh what are you looking at? You're trying to look at my... my... Natsuki's legs shake. I'm not! I was just... Natsuki, don't try to move! Just give me the box! You... you perv! You set me up! Go away! Get out! But... I'll do it myself! Uh, ah! The chair suddenly swivels beneath Natsuki's feet. Natsuki! Gah! The scene turns into chaos into a split, in a split second. The chair flies from under Natsuki's feet. Frantically, I try to catch her. The box topples out of her hands and the books go flying. I got you! Crash! The full force of Natsuki's body against me froze me to the ground. A whole bunch of books pelt me in the face. Natsuki tries to shield herself with her own arms as her face lands straight into my chest. Ugh. My right arm and my back seriously felt the impact. Gah! Ah! Slowly, Natsuki comes to her senses. Ugh! She pr <laughs> I sounded so revolted right there. <laughs> she presses her arms straight into me and pr to prop herself up. Eh? Natsuki seems to realize that it's not the floor that's beneath her. G -g -g gross! Gross! Gak! A fist pounds into my chest. Natsuki then hoists herself to her feet. What were you thinking? You sicko! Everything okay over there? You didn't hear us yell your name earlier. I heard a loud noise. Monica suddenly peers in. Monica! See what happens when you put the manga on the top shelf? Are you trying to kill your club members or something? Well, as a matter of fact... Jeez. Sorry, sorry. Haha. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. It seems like your most recent club member is a total pervert. So I hope you're happy. Excuse me, I did nothing of the sort. I didn't! Somehow it's impossible for me to explain this whole bizarre situation to Monica. I didn't do anything, I swear. I know, I know, don't worry. Monica says that quietly to me. And loud enough for Natsuki to hear it. Looks like I'm off the hook. Oh no! My, my... Eh? I look down. Natsuki is kneeling on the floor, holding one of the books that are scattered all over. There's a large diagonal crease somewhere on the page that she's desperately trying to smooth out. Ah, must have landed on the page. Natsuki tries a bit more to fix the crease, but she can't get it out. Suddenly, she gives up and slams the book shut, then throws it to the floor. Instead of continuing to yell, she just lowers her head. <laughs> Natsuki, are you... No! Natsuki's voice squeaks. I see tears on her face. Uh, I'll help get the crease out, okay? It's partially my fault, so... Natsuki shakes her head, still looking down. No, I don't even care that much. I'm just having a really bad day today, okay? Natsuki sobs again. I didn't mean to take it out on you. I really didn't mean to. It's... it's fine. Is there anything you want to talk about? Natsuki shakes her head. Just... every day is so hard. I just want to... come to the club and... Natsuki falls silent again. I can't press her, so I only do what I know how to. Alright. Well, I'll help clean this up. And I'll move the rest of your manga for you. Ah. I pick up Volume 2 of Parfait Girls. We'll set this one aside. This'll help cheer you up a bit, right? We can get started on it once I'm done here. Natsuki looks at me with her glossy eyes. Her lip quivers. You're... You're really nice to me. Eh? That sounded really strange, coming from Natsuki. I didn't expect it at all. Well, I'm just treating you like a friend, you know? Mm. Natsuki lowers her head and stifles another sob. I'm not sure what happened to her today, but being nice is the least I could do. The next couple minutes are silent between us as I begin gathering the scattered books. I make sure to slip the bu uh, them into the box in the correct order. After a little bit, Natsuki starts helping. 
It isn't long before we're done, and I hoist the box onto the shelf where Natsuki wanted to put it. Then I get on the stool and quickly finish moving the rest of her books from the top shelf. All right. That should do it. I hop off the stool. Natsuki averts her gaze. Th thanks. <laughs> it's nothing. Natsuki's holding the volume I set aside in her hands. All right. I'm ready. Good. Even if you weren't, I'd make you anyway. You're taking responsibility for what you said. The fiend about cheering me up. If you insist. That seems a little nicer than I remember. We sit in the same spot as last time, and I open the second volume. Natsuki's mood quickly improves, laughing and pointing things out to me. She's surprisingly sharp, making note of a lot of subtle, repeated jokes and background elements. In the end, I'm pretty impressed by how everything ties together in this manga. I guess Natsuki has good taste after all. After some time, Monica gets our attention as usual, and it's time to share poems again. Guess I'll be holding on to this for now. Yep! Even you sound more enthusiastic this time. Well, I'm starting to get into it, you know? Heh <laughs> Told you. Yeah, yeah. I return to my seat and slip the book into my bag. Alright, let's share Natsuki first, because duh. Natsuki reads my poem. She keeps glancing at me, then back at the poem. By now, she must have read it more than once. Ugh! Is it that bad? No, no it's not! It's good. It's really good, okay? There, I said it. Ugh, this wasn't supposed to happen at all. Why can't you just be bad at this? I feel like Natsuki is literally at her happiest when we write for Sayori, where she's like, well, mine's better, but at least it's okay. And then she like, doesn't like it in her root or Yuri's root at all. My poems are supposed to impress you, not the other way around. You're trying to impress me? Obviously, you think I'd let you enjoy Yuri's writing more than mine? Give me a break. In this route, Yuri's trash, dude. Well, in that case, what's the problem with me trying to impress you? I'll tell you, you... That's <laughs> face freezes like she just realized something. You... You're trying to impress me? Natsuki vigorously scans her eyes over my poems one more time. Then the poem slips out of her hands and flutters to the floor. I have to use the bathroom! Red-faced, Natsuki quickly walks out of the room. Nothing suspicious about that. Hey, Artie? Did you do something to Natsuki? No, she just got to use the bathroom, randomly. I saw her rush out like that. You didn't do anything terrible, did you? I mean, I did, but that's not the point. No! I just told her that... My voice gets caught in my throat. There's no way I could tell Monica that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. She'd spread it all around the school. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. She's not smiling. I see. You wrote this for Natsuki, didn't you? I mean, not really. In fact, didn't she like your poem a lot the other day, too? I'm surprised you know her taste so well already. Are you sure you're not cheating, Artie? Cheating? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just kidding. Haha! <laughs> I didn't understand Monica's joke at all. Anyway, how do you think Natsuki feels about you? Oh, you don't need to answer that. She's deeply in love with you. I wish there was just something for you to think about. Hey! Natsuki comes up and snatches the poem out of Monica's hands. Neither of us had noticed her re-enter the classroom. Did you read this, Monica? Of course! I liked it! Ugh! You should really stop reading things that aren't for you, you know. You have a bad habit of doing that. Huh? But Artie wrote this poem. And we're supposed to share with everyone, right? Ugh! Natsuki freezes. She apparently forgot that my poem is technically for everyone to read. Okay, well, I think Artie's done with sharing this poem with everyone. It's not like every anyone would want to read this anyway. In fact, I'm just going to hold on to this. If you insist. But I gotta share with the other girl! What? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Like what? Ugh! Never mind. Uh, Natsuki, I'll give you the poem, but that's still not very fair to say, Ori. She hasn't gotten to read it yet. Yuri doesn't exist! <laughs> So what? Well, I guess Artie's right, Natsuki. It's not fair if you don't let everyone finish reading it. Fine. Natsuki returns my poem. It's not like he, she's going to like it, though. Anyway, read my poem now. And no, I won't let you keep it. This is my only copy. Amy likes spiders. Wonderful. Fantastic. Alright, you know, I'm glad that you can appreciate this kind of writing. I mean, I know I was talking about that yesterday, but I've been... Well, I've been enjoying sharing my writing with you, so... So consider yourself lucky, okay? Haha. <laughs> well, thanks for being honest. What's that supposed to mean? I'm always honest. 
Jeez. Just look forward to tomorrow, too, okay? Alright, I will. Holy shit, I showed them my phone. Wait, but Monica already read the poem. Hi again, Artie. That was kind of silly with Natsuki earlier, wasn't it? I'm glad the two of you have been getting along so well. That's one way of putting it. Anyway, I already read your poem, but you can go ahead and read mine now. I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. I love Save Me. It's like the best level in Lemmings. Not... Hey, Sayori. Ooh! I like this one, Artie! It has a word for me this time. It has some nice feelings in it. Oh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Hmm, let me think. I dunno! I guess I like them both. Hee <laughs> hee. That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. That's why she follows her heart with a Tinkerbell necklace. Hey, Yuri. Um, are you still mad at me? Ah! For disrespecting Natsuki yesterday. Because reading this poem, now I know why you got mad at me. Because you... you prefer her writing over mine. That's not really true. Meaning when I disrespected her, I disrespected you too, didn't I? Oh no. Yuri, you might be reading into this a little too much. How can I be so stupid? I always let these things happen. Whenever I think before I speak, I just come off as awkward and unlikable. But if I speak without thinking, the things I want to keep inside come out and make people hate me. So please don't force yourself to be around me. I know this is what Monica wants. But it's not fair to you when you could be enjoying your time with Natsuki and Sayori. Yuri, please. It makes it easier for me if you don't express any concern. Besides, I have my books with me. That's all I need. Yuri smiles sadly and puts her head down onto her desk. I'm frustrated. I don't hate her, but it's as if she's not capable of listening to me over her own thoughts. I sigh to myself. All I can do is accept that that's how she is. If she wants to be left alone, I have no choice but to abide by that request. Okie dokie. I mean, dokie dokie. Let's go. We have the recital. Makes me wonder if, like, if we wrote poems for Natsuki and then our last one we changed it to Yuri style, would Yuri actually read that one and would Natsuki be like, What the heck? What if Natsuki has to go home with you? I would walk home with Natsuki. Walking home with Natsuki, huh? Why does the thought of that make my heart pound? I mean... I think I'd be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. Isn't she cute and fun to be around? That has nothing to do with what I just said. Also, it's not true. <laughs> I am inexorable. Hey, Rob. Welcome back. All right. Here we go. Fireflies. That was wrong. Kitty poof. Um, Starscape. That was Yuri. Wow, we're getting some of everything. Kawaii! Lazy. Nope. That's wrong. Anger. Candy. Scene, scene, scene. Email. Um, blanket. Sparkle. Really? These are Sayori words. Bubbles! Vanilla! Um, doo -doo -doo. raindrops keep falling on my head. Tears? Nope. Kiss. Rose. Wow, Sayori. Stop it. Puppy. Skirt. And awesome. Wow, we got like half, almost half Sayori words there. That should still be enough for Natsuki, though. Aw, oh, man. I ran out of room again. Well, we're about to find out. Okay. Hey, you. Eh? I look up to see Natsuki next to me. Ooh, nice poem. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't much that that much time, so... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glances down at her side. She's holding a volume of manga in her hand. That's right. Something just came up for a moment, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's bothering you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you don't feel like talking about it or anything. She practically mumbles that last part. No, she said that out loud. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. Also, I want to make out with her. What? But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. 
Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all, you should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then you would be the first person she would go to, right? Oh, well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not right for me to go against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought of that. I should have thought of it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with the book she's holding in her hands. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Ah! Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry up and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay! Alright, hey, Natsuki. Let's see, let's see! You're certainly enthusiastic today. Of course! You know I like your writing. I'm just surprised. It seemed like you had a lot of trouble admitting that before. Well, well, of course! I just had to put you in your place a little bit. It's not like... I mean, it's not like I was shy or anything stupid like that. Or jealous. I really wasn't jealous. Just because you happen to be a good writer? That's such a dumb thing to get jealous about. Haha! <laughs> Natsuki, what? You're not very confident about your writing, are you? Huh? What are you talking about? My writing is obviously the best, right? It took me a while to figure out, but I think I finally did. Maybe Natsuki acts so arrogant because she's trying to make up for her own insecurities. Why do people do that? That's a, that's a terrible idea. If she acts like she's the best, then other people might think that way too. No, most of the time people will just think you're a conceited e egomaniac. Right? Artie, please just tell me that you like my poems. I don't care if you hate them. Just please tell me I'm the best. I just... I just really need to hear that from someone. I know I sound stupid, but there's a reason I never shared my poems before this. Natsuki. Because... Because nobody ever takes me seriously. What's the point in sharing my poems if people just last and say, That's so uh, that cute, just like you, Natsuki. Sometimes I don't want to be cute, but nobody understands that. I try really hard when I write. The style doesn't matter. The emotions are there. Why can't anyone see that? I just... Natsuki trails off. Maybe it's because her lips started to quiver. I look down. Her fists are clenched really tightly. Hey, Natsuki. If you're not careful, you'll rip your own poem. I gently grab the poem with my own hand until she relaxes her grip on it. I place it flat on the desk and smooth out the wrinkles that she put, that she put into it. D don't read it! Before I can pick it up, Natsuki snatches the poem from the desk. It's not any good, and I know you hate my poems. So you don't have to read this one, okay? But I want to read it. Why? Because I like your poems. I really do. Why would I judge you for your style? It's not like my own style is anything crazy. I mean, it's true that the first time I read one of your poems, I, it, I didn't look much into it. But I know you better now. And it's wrong for Yuri to think that your style is more amateur than hers. And Sayori, she always means well. But sometimes she's so focused on simple happiness that she doesn't understand what people really want. Yeah, I guess I never really thought about how hard it is for you. And I'm sorry if I was part of that problem. I understand now. You're not just cute. You're a lot more than that. Uh, Natsuki, you're doing it again. Once again, Natsuki clutches her poem a little too hard. She looks down, hiding her eyes from me. I never realized how difficult this was for her. But finally, she forces herself to extend her arms and set her poem on the table. You can read it. Just turn that way. I don't want you to look at my face right now. Okay, I will. Because you. Tomorrow will be a bit brighter with me around. But when today is dim, I can only look down. My looking is a little more forward, because you look at me. When I want to say something, I say it with a SHOUT! But my truest feelings can never come out. My words are a little less empty, because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller, because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all of my heart, but what do I do when it's all torn all apart? My faith is a little bit stronger, because you trusted me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer. Because you think of me. Because you. Because you. 
because you. Aw, oh, that's a cute poem. But I mean that in the good way, Natsuki. Why are you looking at me like that? If you don't like it, then just say it. I won't get mad. No, it's not that I don't like it. It was just a little surprising to read. Nah, I guess I'm not used to hearing such nice things coming from you. Don't just say that, dummy. What do you think the point of writing is? Expressing things that you can't just say. Yeah, I understand. I'm sorry for missing the point sometimes. I always mean well. And I'm happy that you showed this to me. I liked it. Well, yeah. I'm I'm a pro, so... Natsuki mumbles, completely failing to sound confident like she usually does. Just... Remember that? I can think these fiends sometimes, too. You know, when you're nice to me, it's... Meaningful. Ah, I'm glad. Sensing Natsuki satisfied, I start to hand the poem back to her. But as I do so, Natsuki takes my hands and pushes them back away. Her small, soft hands surprise me with their assertion. I don't want it. Huh? Why not? I just don't! Jeez. I realize what Natsuki's doing. Unable to be honest, she's trying to give me the poem in a roundabout way. Well, in that case, I'm going to keep it. Instead of teasing her, I choose to go along with it. Good. If you didn't, I would... Never mind. Just, I'm glad that you want it. Natsuki backpedals on her words and leaves it at that. Despite her best efforts to hide her expression, I can see her faintly smiling to herself. That's all for now, so... Go put it away before someone sees it, okay? Oh, uh, yeah. I'll do that. With that, I return to my seat and... So that I can put away Natsuki's poem. That's all, folks! No, it's not. Monica needs to go next. Hi, Artie. Hey, girl! Sticking with the Natsuki style once more, I see. Hmm. You really like Natsuki, don't you? Oh, that's... Oh, come on, Artie. It's awfully suspicious, you know. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Pretending to like the manga that she's into. Who's pretending? It's actually good. Y you know how Natsuki is. If I don't indulge her, she'll end up her hating me. Eh? No, I think you're misunderstanding, Artie. It's not like Natsuki just hates anyone who doesn't give her what she wants. Yeah, she's assertive, but she's not that selfish. In fact, I think you're the only one who's indulged her as much as you have. Is that so? I kind of knew that, but I just didn't want to admit it. So, I just need to ask one thing of you. <laughs> Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? Are you free? No. Be careful, please. Natsuki's kind of unpredictable. A lot of times, she doesn't even know what she wants. After all, she's the youngest one here. She might not know how to handle her own feelings properly. What I'm saying is, if something bad happens to you, then it could end up damaging the club, too. And you wouldn't do that to me, right? That's... I'm not sure how to respond to Monica. While I care about her in the club, it's also kind of unfair to bring that up. Well, you're smart. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. Monica smiles sweetly. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. Lady who knows everything. It's, it's just wonderful, Monica. It's beautiful. Hey, Yuri. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes her mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. You're not even gonna try. Good job. Hey, Sayori. Nothing new from Sayori. Interesting. Okay. Actually, at this point, we have finished the Natsuki route. That is it. Because we've already done baking with Natsuki. So now...